Whoa, spur of the moment recording session. Hey guys, my nice plan. Guarding a pair. Whoa, 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 what the, where am I and how am I already in danger of being assaulted by various creatures? A creature of the water, a creature of the forest, a gremlin of the past, perhaps. No, that's just a crab. Crabs are not necessarily gremlins. I have changed my elements for better or for worse. I cannot decide. I kind of forgot where I am and where I'm going. Oh, right, right, right. I got, like, ice power, and I need to get ice power so I can freeze, or, or heal, or freeze and save the, the, the wind woman. I forgot her. Her name's, like, Kieran or something? I, I don't know why. I cannot remember her name out of all the Cretans' names that are in this game. Hers is the least Cretan-shaped. So, there we go. We have destroyed the iceberger here. I don't know why an iceberger she is. Wait, where's the snake guy? I guess I don't need to kill the snake guy. Well, hello there, little girl. Beady head thing, bleg, grossness. Well, uh, well, I don't know. He, you know, I couldn't just say no. He would not let me. Uh, you are, are you are talking strangely. Well, you are certainly a like blabbermouth. Well, I cannot speak right now, so that's that's unfortunate. So let's go ahead and kill a freaking snake monster. There we go. You are deceased now, and I can jump probably. So yeah, we really are just getting all the powers in back order, and I agree that is somewhat disappointing because you know it just seems pointless. So I guess we have like multiple pads here. The multiple pads across the floating platforms of peril. I sincerely doubt I can make that jump, so let's try it and die. Exactly. See? Pain means excitement. If you don't have pain in your life, you can't be excited. Or at least that's what some people have taught me. And I, I need a key for there, and there's a freaking topaz over there. Shiny gems are beautiful, even if they are not shiny, but destructive. Well, what the- hey, hey, don't kill me, please. So wait, how am I gonna kill you? I guess I might need some kind of uh, device of which to destroy you, and by that I mean, uh, you know, a wind earring to throw at you. Smiting you with my plasma beam look-alike type of activity. Well, it's not an activity, but a weapon. I guess that's the difference that you have to appreciate. So, you know, Tella has still got himself a GOP candidate. He is his own GOP candidate, and that is why he is respected among the elders of society. That's why he set out on this adventure, despite having not even an inkling of what a sword may or may not look like. For a sword is, you know, a sharp instrument of death, possibly. Well, not necessarily death. It can be an instrument of other things, but, you know, most of the time you, you probably will die if you get stabbed by a sword. Well, maybe not, I guess. With today's, you know, medical technologies and advancements, you may be able to survive such an onslaught. Oh, look at me, I am, you know, why? Yeah, she is, why did I, what the hell, I don't even know. Okay, let's, let's just get wind attack before I go freaking weird. I'm acting peculiar, I think. That's, that's pretty strange. I do not normally act in peculiar ways. That is probably not true at all but you know there we go I can smite that guy in an instant and then I can do that and now he's probably back and then I could fall to a hole because you know I'm an idiot why not <laughs> this thing freaking annihilates everything that's that's I should be using it more because it, it probably destroys and breaks the game but there you go snakes remains here come on guys just just end your bodies end your lives for me just come out of the ground destroy I probably need to keep some alive so that I can do this puzzle better, but uh, I don't think I will. Oops, see, I, I'll freaking what the hell. <laughs> Hitting two at once, while that may have been desirable at one point in my life, I feel that it is just a waste of my time now. See, there we go. The path to dismalness is obtained. And, whoa, I hear something zapping somewhere in this room. I guess I need the power of flight in order to get over there. Very well, then. Meanwhile, it is loudly chirping and zapping someone. I don't know why. I guess it's just destructive like that. I probably need the speed of evil to get over there, so I'm not going to be able to get over there yet. Uh, okay, so we are in the darkness land, the spirit world where Yomi resides. And I, I, need, I need forest land if I'm going to go over here. So where am I going to get forest power? I guess I will just examine the lands, searching the stones of this world and trying to find out why there's a giant black abyss on the side of the screen that does not match the blackness of the interior, but is there. I guess the screen transitions are just an eternal blackness, which I deduced on like the first episode, so there you go. And there you are. See, th these puzzles are a bit too, like, uh, straightforward, if you get what I mean. Like, it's just not much challenge to them. You could just go back and forth, and it's like the same thing. 
kind of disappointing. We're just searching for abilities, really. The correct enemy to kill, and that's about it. And there you go, charging up your, you know, yellow sperm there. Why not? Why not? What, wait, we got fly. That, that's pretty impressive. I pretty much already knew that. So now that I can fly, I can go over here and fly and rescue the spirit Yomi, who was buzzing loudly over here. Will you please shut up, Yomi? Oh, I'm talking in capital letters and no freaking punctuation. That's... I, I do like his darkness and lightness clubs there. He is like Okami. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of. Don't judge me. Judge others. That is what I decree. So there you go. I jumped for no reason there. I hope you guys enjoyed that moment because I certainly did. It was pointless, and thus I am filled with fruition. And now the skull guy is dying. So this place is just kind of going on a while. I bet that uh, I beat this game in this episode. That That's just my hunch, though. I kind of want to die once, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So sprint, Tella! Run as fast as you can across these hallways, and then keep running as fast as you can across these hallways. That door stays open quite a while. I guess it's to allow that to happen. So here is a puzzle where I'm going to need to use the spirit power to open something probably there. Okay, so let us go and try to find spirit power and this room contains something and also this room contains something and there was a bastion over here I don't even know what that is I know there's a game called that, that I've never played but uh, yeah that's that's a video game hello this thing is taking a while to destroy how much health do you have I see quite a lot and you there Skeletor dead as well you shouldn't have uh, oh there's a rock there but wait I need hammer for that that's that's mean I don't have hammer do I have to go all the way back to like that freaking swamp monster plant thing? I don't think so. I'm going this way. Where there is an evil statue, of course, that I can destroy. Or move him, I guess, if I wanted to. But I don't want to move you, I just want to kill you, see? And here we have the forest, of course. The magical mystery coins of the woods. Where, you know... what? What's the... the, the I forgot the... Freaking four spirits name. I see it's been a while since I had to say a name out loud unless I cannot remember it. So over here, there's the thing that I need to press like three times and <laughs> smash the skull on accident. <laughs> okay, that this proved to be amusing still. That that's good to know. Caught me unawares, dark statues, yes, yes, that is an ability I can use. So let us go and use our abilities to destroy the world. Why is there so many chests in here? Do you really expect me to need that much? Look at Leo, he's he's a rock that has been turned to fire and stone. And stone and fire and stone and fire and stone. No, wait, wait, stop! Oh, freaking, you were there, Yomi. Just stay there. Stay, 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 stay. There we go. Now, don't screw this up because I don't have enough freaking points if you screw this up, Yomi. Dang it, Yomi! God, freaking hell! <laughs> And why do you take so long? Stop taking so much time to do what I desire. Thank you. Now go over there, then go downwards, and then just sort of stay there. Oh, come on, freaking <sighs> You freaking spirit jerk. No, come on, freaking no! <sighs> Hello, everyone. This is going pretty terribly. <laughs> I think it does. Okay, Yomi, go. Okay, go down there, and then... No, go down that freaking... Now go upwards ever so... Uh, why? There we go. <laughs> okay, then that was an ordeal, and uh, I will not look forward to it happening again. Okay, so fire enemies. How do I... How do I... How do I do things? Oh, I need to find, like, stuff. That's what I'm doing. I forgot what I was doing for some reason, so that... Kind of stupid. Why would I do that? So, oh, we got a puzzle here that I forgot how to solve, and we need forest if we want to figure out the solution by cheating. So let's see what yonder's ever here in the east. Ever here? Wow. There's a heart piece over there. Like probably like the final heart piece. I mean, hope so. If there's any more, this game will be like absolutely unlike difficult to beat. Uh, I sincerely doubt I'd be able to solve this on my own because it's it'd be just like a guess and check type thing, and that's not something you really want to do. So let's just accidentally waste our MP and go over here and get some more MP from killing a statue guy. Hello, you're dead, and I got force, but I'm gonna get this first. So now I have more MP. Goodness is what I like. Luca is the forest spirit. Now I remember. I am able to remember things about forest spirits. 
and juvenile delinquents, which has nothing to do with anything. I just felt like saying it. Saying words sometimes, and having words to say. The colors in opposite corner should match. Okay, that's good to know. So, is that like a stipulation that it can be, like, the colors can be in either corner and, you know, screwing things up? No, I'm not screwed yet, but I was kind of close. Kind of a close call. So this blue statue, whatever these things are, they're like some kind of strange metal pottery. No, I guess, you know, blue has to be on the upper right. That's kind of annoying to just now find out, but okay then, let's do it again. This time correctly, hopefully, and without any mishaps that will probably and likely will occur. Yes, I am pushing the X in the direction of left and up, and then this one. Freaking screwing it up. <laughs> oh, okay, let, let's try not to keep screwing up this puzzle by accidentally pressing things in directions that are incorrect to be pressing them in. Yes, let us not do those things. Okay, freaking statue, don't. In fact, let's not risk that and instead do it this way. Thank you! Freaking fatness to the rescue here. Fatness allows you to move at an extremely quick pace, allowing you to destroy things also at an extremely quick pace. So let's kind of just walk around town here. The purple matches Tella's hair, which is pretty nice. And I can't use any more freaking <sighs> electro beam power. <sighs> I feel like getting my heart piece. I want it. Go away, freaking roly polies. You're not really on fire, even though you're considered a fire enemy because you drop fiery things. There we go. Possibly the final heart piece. Possibly the final challenge of the game. Yes, that is what I am guessing. The final challenge is nigh upon us. A storm is brewing inside of our hearts, and it will rent our souls in twain if it passes through us unscathed. So I would like to do this and accidentally waste my pottery here. Wait, how come that didn't kill the chest? I guess the chest is durable. Hello, Leo. How's it going? Uh, you are an old school type of guy. You are careless and, uh, oh man, voices. Nostalgia. Uh, wait, what's with the voices? Leo is a flaming, flaming fire face. So that's, you know, he's a lion head. That's basically what he is. I needed to explain that to everyone because why not? I have to explain things to the viewer since they are not the one playing and thus they cannot be capable of understanding anything that is going on. And fire does not do much damage to fire enemies, which is surprising, but not necessarily surprising. Hey there, buddy. Uh, explode, thanks. How's it going? Wait, so I can explode things now when I have the explosion power, which I don't actually have. So I did something wrong here. I guess I needed to uh, try to... I forgot how to do the what? Wait, what? How does this work? What am I supposed to do? Wait, can I like shoot fire across those rocks? Because I never tried that. Can I do such a thing? Or can the f explosion light the candle? Okay, I, I didn't know that, but uh, now I, I do, I will never succumb to that kind of thing again. This freaking lizard is annoying, so I'm not gonna bother with him yet. He's just sort of there. And there's a giant volcano over here. Can I destroy a volcano with fire? Surprisingly, yes I can. Screw these rocks, I have flames! Why am I... Why am I doing things? You know, playing a video game makes you ask questions about why you're doing things, so, uh... I bet that volcano is guarding a secret because there's a flaming sort of passionate warbling going on over there, like this key here. Ah, freaking rock! The rock should be annihilated along with the volcano, which should not persist like a damsel in distress. So I can go over here and get, you know, random amethyst. A ruby! I, should not, well, I don't know why I thought it was amethyst. I think I thought it was a random jewel or something. So I got the explosive ability, and now I can explode things, but uh, I can do that right here. And so I will. It has exploded. And I'm entering a domain in which I can, you know, just explode these guys and create a shower of doom and destruction. And I can gain another freaking power because that was like the easiest freaking thing I've ever done. Um avoiding things and then not doing a very good job at avoiding things. I hope I don't need flame, but I probably do. But I could probably kill this guy over here if I so desire. Hey! -yay! Time to beat the crap out of that dinosaur. Dinosaurs do not deserve the life they are given and uh, here we go. We just need to destroy these things. Not really much to that. So I'm guessing like the final battle is like right up there. Uh, well, might as well finish off this game if that is what is going to happen. Although I do want some health. 
if I can get some. Thanks for the cheese, buddy. I freaking... Whatever. Just, just, just die. Oh, and these things grow back? Seriously? Oh, well, okay then. I guess I'm not getting full mana. I probably should just keep on going. So now we have our arsenal completed. And there's a bunch of barrels and a bunch of flames and a bunch of... I don't know. Is this really going to be the end game? I have no idea. Let us, let us find out. There's a giant dragon. The red dragon. Okay, so we are possibly doing a boss in review now. Okay, this is semi-unexpected now, isn't it? Uh, so if you would please land, I will smolder you with my giant freaking flame here. Hopefully it will do a ton of damage and totally just annihilate you, which it seems to be doing a good job of. So if you would please just continue on the onslaught of pain, that would be fantastic. Yep, there you go. Whoa, 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 freaking spikes in the floor. That is dangerous. Wow, this guy has a lot of, like, health here. I don't know why I'm exclaiming that, but it does seem like he has quite a few. Quite a few inklings of health. Ugh. Don't you dare rise into the sky again. I am not done destroying you in such a way. Like, freaking six more healths or something? I don't know. Are you almost dead, dude? Yes, you are, definitely. Just a few more seconds of battle, and the giant red dragon will be no more. He will be nothingness, because that is only the thing he could be. Are you just, like, a, a mid-boss? Is that what you're telling me? Like, what's next after that? Like, another boss, maybe? Or, you know, the red dragon was guarding the Guardian of Paradise all along. Are we gonna be fighting, like, a, a legit final boss, or was this supposed to be, like the final final boss which I, I doubt but I'm kind of concerned about just ending the part off here because what if the game is like ending off like right now so let's let's just accidentally make this an extra long part and see if this is the ending so what say you now tree of guardian of paradise yes I did the rift well, what does that mean magic barrier uh wait wait seriously um Okay, I think this is probably not the end of the game, and there's even more padding to this than the probably is necessary, but, uh, okay then. <laughs> Next time we're gonna go into this tower and see if, uh, maybe this is the end of the game? We've gotta get, like, five emblems all over again, that's... Certainly is a... That is a thing. <laughs> okay then, well, see you guys then.